Hello shoebox friends, this is Val. Uh, welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in. Um, welcome to my shoebox packing friends and to my crafting friends. Um, and I want to say thank you to my crafting friends for all the donations that, um, that you gave me over the past weekend. Um, I appreciate them all and you all mean the world to me. Um, so today I'm unboxing a box that I packed for Operation Christmas Child. This is a box for a girl 10 to 14 and it has a theme. It's a pink flamingo theme. This may be one of my favorite boxes that I've packed this year. Um, so I used a regular shoe box and it's just a little bit wider than a standard cardboard OCC Go box. And I put pink masking tape around the edges so um, that I could cover up the words and logos. And I used scrapbook paper with pink flamingos on it to decorate the lid and added um, from the teacher supply section of Dollar Tree um, this cute image, cardboard image that I found of this pink flamingo. And it says, stand tall, stand out. And I, I just added that to the lid. I covered the entire lid with clear packaging tape. And this box does close. I'm waiting for some stronger rubber bands to come um, that I ordered from Amazon. So I just have this flimsy one on here at the moment. And it just broke. So yeah, I'm waiting for those rubber bands. So on the inside um, lid, I decorated um, with some stickers. I actually made those stickers from a diamond painting kit that I got at Michael's in the kids craft section. Um, I love making those. I love diamond painting. And when I found those stickers, I thought, ah, for my shoe boxes, yes. I can make them to decorate the box or a card, or I could just send them as kits for the child to do, or I could do them and just send them for the kids to stick wherever they want. And I added the words, Jesus loves you with some sticker letters. So she has this really pretty pink flamingo t t shirt that I got on clearance at Walmart. Um, I believe it was $2. She has, I have a sewing kit in here. Um, so she, I included this pink flamingos um, fat quarter that I got um, on clearance at Walmart. She has a pink calculator. She has a pink full size flexible ruler that I got at the Dollar Tree. I added this little dog tag that I got from Hobby Lobby, Playside Creations. It says, God is love. She has this little spirograph kit from the dollar spot at Target. Um, it came with several in the package and I split them up and I added the green and pink gel pen. Um, there is a photo in here to show her how to um, use this little kit to make her wonderful designs. Um, in the bottom of the box, I have a dry erase mat, so I included dry erase markers. I put them in a little baggie and labeled them. And I also have a dry erase eraser. Um, she has a toothbrush with her pink cap. And she has, um, let's see here, she's got some pens um, for her school supplies, um, red, blue, and black um, um, ink pens, but then I also include, and a pink highlighter, and then I also included these color um um, ink pens, purple and kind of a greenish yellow. Um, I added these at the last minute because I thought she'd like to have some more colors to make her designs with her spirograph. So she also has this really cute pink flamingo um, tumbler um, that has the, the head of the pink flamingo on the, on the, um, on the lid and I stuffed it. It came with a straw and I took the straw out because the straw was interfering with me getting very much inside the cup, which I really needed to do because this box is really packed. Um, I have this other little pouch in here um, and inside the pouch I have some rainbow loom bracelets that I made. This is a cute pouch. It has a drawstring. It's perfect for this. It has little pink stars and hearts on it. And I made, these are all red and green in color, and I made them in different designs. Um, I, 
you know, taught pretty much taught myself how to make these rainbow loom bracelets by YouTube videos. I um, found the rainbow loom and hook and um, I've had to purchase the rubber bands. I only buy rainbow loom brand because they're sturdier and will hold up better. Um, it was my daughter's. I found it in the basement. And so these are all pink and green um, rainbow loom bracelets in different designs. I think she'll enjoy wearing those. And I have a pink fidget spinner. I needed some things at the last minute for this girl because I, I decided I didn't have enough fun stuff in here. <laughs> so also for fun, um, I added the pink and green little Minnie Mouse figures that I got at the Dollar Tree. And she has this um, pink flamingo beanie baby. Um, this beanie baby's name is Pink. <laughs> so perfect for this box. And she has um, another pink pouch. Um, this was donated to me by a friend. It's a really nice, really nice, well-made pouch. And I stuffed it full also. So inside this pouch. Oh, I forgot to show what else I put in the cup. Oh, okay. So real quick. She has some hair ties, pink and green. She has sunglasses. These sunglasses came with a case on clearance at Walmart. But I used the case um, to make a sewing kit. Um, Sonia from Sonia Shoeboxes. Um gave me that idea. I box lifted her idea. She said it was okay. And so uh, I'm coming up to that. But those are the sunglasses that came with it. This, um, like I said, this um, tumbler came with a straw, but I couldn't, you know, pack a lot of stuff inside with that straw in it. So I took it out and it's somewhere in the box. But I also have this extra straw. This is cute. It's a little container and I got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby in the summer toy clearance. You open um, open this up and then inside there is an extra silicone straw, which is real nice when you're sending a tumbler that uses a straw. And then a straw cleaner. And they fold up nicely and they fit inside this container. And so that's that. And then I have a pink eraser. Um, that came in a multi-pack um, from Dollar Tree. I believe it was Dollar Tree. And then a bunch of, oh, a magnet. That's a pink flamingo. Her hair clips are sticking to the magnet, <laughs> which is actually kind of a good idea because it'll keep them nice and safe. And then some hair ties. I've just got um, these little ones and then this bigger, they're all green and pink. And so that's the cup. And then inside the pink pouch, she has another little teeny beanie, Thai teeny beanie, that's a pink flamingo. That one came from McDonald's in a Happy Meal, probably a really long time ago. Um, a hair scrunchie, that's pink. A hair um, headband um, with a bow from Walmart. She has a pencil sharpener that I've stuffed with pink and green pencil top erasers. She has, um, from the Dollar Tree, a pop-out um, hairbrush, um, and it has a mirror. She has, in also in here, she has more bracelets. I hope she likes jewelry. <laughs> this one, um, okay, so there's a little pink flamingo pin that she can pin on her, her shirt or her um, pencil pouch or her little pouch. And then I've got these uh, set of four bracelets um, that have pinks and greens. I got these on clearance at Walmart, and I'll be sure to take that price sticker off. She has a little a pink flamingo lip balm. She has a cross necklace from Hobby Lobby that is pink with different colors on the, the cord. <clears throat> she has both a, uh, I got these at Dollar Tree, um, a toenail clipper. That's really cute. It, it's shaped in, it's in the shape of a foot. <laughs> and then the nail clipper, and they match. They came in a set. And then she has another really, oh, she's got some pink, mini pink flamingo erasers, teeny tiny erasers that I put in this baggie. 
And then she has another piece of jewelry that I put in this organza bag just to protect it and keep the, the chain from getting tangled. And it is a pink heart locket. It looks like it has some pretty jewels on the front. And so it opens up like a locket. It's real pretty. So I've got that and that's what she has in her pink pouch. Um, she also has, um, so here's the sewing kit. Um, this is what the sunglasses came with. It has a pink flamingo on it. It's real shiny. And once again, thank you to Sonia of Sonia Shoe Boxes for this idea and for letting me box lift your idea because I just love it. And so inside my sewing kit, there's a lot. <laughs> I've got a tape measure, some pink and green thread and white, a seam ripper, a threader, some pink buttons, some white buttons, some some straight pins, some needles, um, a thimble, um, all the things that she will need for her little um, sewing project and hopefully she can find something that um, she can make and that there will be enough of this pink flamingo material. Although I do have some more material in here. Um, so this closes, it closes, but you gotta make sure that you have everything in there um, just so. See, I have a button in the way, so it's not closing. So that's her little sewing kit. Um, I also stuck in some real cute ribbon that I got on clearance, um, I believe at Walmart. Um, it's got some pinks and some green and a gold and some cupcakes. So that's real cute. Maybe she could use that in her sewing project. I'm not a sewer, so I have no idea. But, but maybe she could figure out a way to use that ribbon. She has a little pin cushion. Also got this idea from um, Sonia at Sonia Shoe Boxes, the little tiny cherry tomato pin cushion. She has, oh, here's the extra material. So she has the pink flamingo material, but she also has a pink and a green um, pieces of material. So between the three of these, I'm hoping that she can come up with a nice sewing project. And she has, oh, uh, let's see. She has her bar of ivory soap. Um, that I put in a bag. It's in its original packaging, but I put it in a little plastic Ziploc. She has, um, well, she has some pink flamingo socks. I can't remember where I got those, but they're pretty cute. She has her pencil pouch, and in the pouch she has a, a little pair of um, sewing scissors. They're nice and sharp. They're small, but they're real sharp. A glue stick. Um, she has a, a bunch of pencils, some Ticonderoga pencils, and some novelty pencils. One of the pencils has pink flamingos on it. And just a, um, well, her eraser and pencil sharpener were packed separately um, for space saving purposes. She has a pair of pink flip flops got those at Old Navy for a dollar. They had their flip-flops on sale a while back. If you were an Old Navy card holder, you could buy them for a dollar. She has a nice plushy washcloth. She has some underwear, one pink pair, one green pair. She has this cute notepad that I paid full price for because I really wanted it at Hobby Lobby. It has a magnet on the back, so she has something that she can, something metal that she can um, put, put this on that's great but if not it's still a very nice pad of paper she has for school um, one of these smaller notebooks that I get at Dollar Tree Jot brand 120 sheets this is a um, two subject notebook it has a divider so actually three subject it has two dividers so that'll be good for school. She has some colored pencils. I stuck in a, a bigger size um, pair of scissors. Um, a friend donated these to me. Um, thank you, Patty. I think that these would be nice for her sewing project. 
she has a play mat. Um, I make these. Um, this one has pink flamingos on it along with some pineapples and it's very tropical. And, it's, um, and so she can lay this flat and she um, can use this to play on or eat on or even cut her material on if she doesn't have a clean flat surface. And then on the opposite side, because this is laminated, um, I cut scrapbook paper in half and then I laminate um, each piece Sorry, I lost my picture again. I laminate each piece and then tape them together in the middle so it folds and fits in the box. And I added just a cute little pink flamingo sticker on that side. And so that is her combination play mat and dry erase mat. She has this very pretty Tropical Florals adult coloring book. Um, the first, um, I put some extra stickers in here. They have pink flamingos and other tropical stickers. Um, the very first picture to color is a pink flamingo, but it has many uh, beautiful tropical flowers. And I think she'll really enjoy coloring these pages with her colored pencils and her few um, ink pens, gel pens that I also put in the box. So that is her coloring book. And then here's the straw that came with this cup. And last but not least, I just added a photo of my family and a note. I just wrote the note on a piece of paper and I laminated, I put it on the back of the, of the photo and then just laminated the whole thing. And so that is my pink flamingo box. I really tried to hurry with this one because my videos are always so long. And so I just want to say thank you for tuning in. I hope you'll hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave all your all those wonderful comments. I really enjoy reading them. I love your ideas. I love to hear about what you liked. Um, and any ideas, suggestions, um, perhaps I left something out of the sewing kit since I'm not a sewer, um, I would welcome that suggestion. And I just want to say once again, thank you for tuning into my channel. And until next time, goodbye.